another one of Ella's auto workouts. Now you might be thinking why on earth is she dressed up as a bride? You're right I look like I'm on a hendy for a start. This is exactly what I wore on my hendy. I got given this jazzy tutu and um, I got given this uh, bride-to-be sash and I got given this veil as well. Um, so as you might know some of you may already know I don't know how many has been keeping up with me. I got engaged about a year ago and I'm very excited to say that I'm getting married uh, this week, which is very, very exciting. So I thought the only way to celebrate was to do a wedding workout with you. So we're back, we've got another themed workout and it's very exciting because there's a wedding one and there's not many chances you get to do this in your life, only once. And so I thought, why not? Let's grab this opportunity with both hands and let's get married during our workout. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a five minute warm up as usual, make sure we're nice and warmed up and ready to go. Some of those exercises are themed this time. And then we're going to do um, six different exercises. I was going to do five, but I thought of six and I thought, why not? Let's roll with it. We're going to work for 30 seconds on each exercise. We'll do each exercise twice before moving on to the next one as well. Very fun one. They're all themed um, exercises, so they all relate to weddings and hopefully relate to what might be an insight into my wedding. Bit exciting, I love it, can't wait. Very nervous, very exciting. And yeah, I'm very sorry that my fiance wasn't able to join me today. He is working, so um, it's just me. That's fun, it's like we can do like a Hindu wedding kind of workout, which is very exciting as well. So are you ready guys? I'm gonna start our timer. And we're gonna start off with some seated love hearts so what you're gonna do you know like our jumping jacks when we normally just bring our arms up and then come back down we're gonna do the same but this time we're gonna create a love heart at the top love heart up and down up and down good job so this gets our arms nice and warmed up i've never done this in a veil we'll see how this goes really good open those arms nice and wide as you come out and then in out really good you've done about 30 seconds so if you did want to start speeding up go for it Whoop. love heart might be very lovey themed today you might not love it but we'll get through it really good keep those arms going nice do do You've got about 10 seconds left on these love hearts. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest those arms there. Well done, check those arms out. Make sure you're nice and loose. And we're gonna go into some reaches in front of us now. But obviously I got engaged. And when you get engaged, you've got a ring to show off. So you have got to show off your ring to me when you're doing your reaches. The diagonal reach, go do, come back. And then do, come back. So that's what you're going to do each time this time. Reach as far as you can. Show off your ring. Really good. Nice work. Let's get those arms moving. I think you guys all know that I'm bonkers right now. So I don't think this is going to surprise you, this workout. But if it does, I'm very sorry. Look at that ring. Look, show them the ring. Show them the ring. Be proud of it. Yeah. Really good. We've just got 10 seconds left on these. Nice. Three, two, one, and rest there. Well done, nice. Of course, I can't take them out of my workout. Everyone loves them. So we're gonna do our lawn mowers out. I know they're not wedding themed, but they're nice and fun. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do a short pull with the elbow nice and high, and a long pull following that arm all the way through. We'll do 10 on each arm. So when you're ready, off you go, one, two, three, nice, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more on this side, ten, 
Well done, really good job. And the same on the other arm, one. Two. Three. Four. Keep that elbow nice and high on that first one, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more on this arm. Ten. Well done, really good job, nice. Ooh, readjust that. Shake those arms out, make sure you're nice and loose. And we're just gonna finish our warm up off with our neck stretches as usual. So you're just gonna sit nice and tall for me. Relax those shoulders and we're just gonna look from left to right, nice and slowly. So one, good job. Two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. Well done, really good job. Shake it all out, guys. Get yourselves nice and loose. And that is your wedding warm up complete. So well done. Grab a quick drink. And we'll get ready to go on to exercise number one. I forgot to tell you guys, you don't need any equipment for today. So don't worry, I'm not gonna send you off around your houses to try and find a bride outfit. Um, but if you do wanna dress up as a bride, if you happen to have had a wedding and have had a hen do as well, you might have still have all this gear, you never know. So you might wanna dress up as well. Sorry lads, you might not be for you, but you might want to just do the workout anyway and have lots of fun. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do on our wedding day, it's very important that you've got to drive to the chapel or the church or wherever you're getting married. So we are going to pretend we're driving there. We aren't going to be the bride at this point, but we're going to pretend we're the driver. And you can use your plates at this point, your dinner plates. We have done this exercise lots before. Um, but if you don't want to, then that's fine. I haven't got mine today. Um, so all you're going to do is pretend you've got two hands on the steering wheel and you're just going to drive as if you're driving to the chapel. If you're struggling to balance with two hands out in front, then you can do this one-handed. You can be one of those cool one-handed drivers. And for the second set, you can switch over and do the other hand. So whatever suits you best. Try and keep those arms straight at all times. And we can have a little sing song as we do it if you want to. Everyone knows that famous song. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off you go. Really good, keep those arms driving. Oh my goodness, it's actually testing my balance a lot more than I thought it would. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. 10 seconds left, keep going. Keep driving. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest those arms there, well done. Nice work. So have 30 seconds rest and then we'll go again for a second time. <laughs> Really good job though, guys, well done. Nice, so um, classic ride, probably will be late, um, but that's fine, we can make sure the ride isn't late today with our driving. So we're gonna go again in three, two, one, and off we go, let's go driving. It seems like we're all over the place with our driving. We're going right then left, right then left. Our bride will be a bit sick by the end. Really good, keep those arms going. Right to left, keep pretending you're driving. Nice. 10 seconds left. Really good guys. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there, well done, really good. Good news guys, you've passed your first test, you've got the bride to the chapel on time. So that's a good start. So have a quick rest, you've earned it, and we'll get ready to go on to exercise number two now. This sash never stays on me, ever. It's quite annoying really, but it's always fun though, isn't it? So as the bride turns up in the car, there usually is a lot of noise happening outside the chapel with the church bells. So we are gonna pretend we are ringing those church bells now, and you know like we normally do climbing the ladder, 
Well, we're going to do the same thing, pretend we're pulling down on some bells. So you're going to pull down, pull down, pull down, as if you're making those bells ring in the church and you're making it sound nice and wedding-y. Does that make sense? Are we happy? Shall we go in three, two, one, and off we go. Do, 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 do. I'll put some church noises on instead. You don't want me singing. You can still reach up as high as you can on each one. Let's work those arms nice and hard. Really good. 10 seconds left. Nice. Lots of bells ringing. Three, two, one. And rest those arms there, well done. I feel like they were quite fast bells. I think if the bride has to walk down the aisles to them, she'll be getting quicker and quicker and quicker. <laughs> really good job though. Feels very surreal that I'm going to be the bride. I'm loving it. I can't wait. Very excited, but also very terrified. But can't wait to have all my friends and family around. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna do those church bells again. Take two. Bride can walk down the aisle again. Why not? Are you ready? Three. Two, one, and off you go. Oh, my sash is falling down. Keep going. Keep those arms going. There we go. Really good. Reaching up with both arms. Nice. You got ten seconds left. <coughs> Keep those arms going, keep those church bells ringing. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there, well done. Really, really good job. Oh, it's thirsty work being a bell ringer, so grab a quick drink. And then we'll get ready to go on to exercise number three, which is one of my favorite. So get excited. Okay, so there wasn't many exercises I could think of to do with the actual ceremony. So we're gonna pretend the ceremony has happened now. We've had a great time. We're officially, officially married. It's legal. And now obviously as we come out of the church, it's only right that we throw some confetti. So we're gonna do the throwing confetti move now, which all you're gonna do is you're gonna pretend you've got a pot in front of you on your lap and you're just gonna reach up and go, woo, throwing it over the bride and groom and then throwing it over the bride and groom the other way. The right, the left. Right, then left, and you're just throwing those arms up in the air as if you're throwing confetti everywhere. Because that's what we like, we love confetti. I love it. It's one of my favorite bits of the whole wedding. Are you ready? We're gonna go in three, two, one, and off you go. Right, then left, right, then left. And then you can go woo, woo, because it's a celebration, the bride and groom have got married. So you can throw some confetti now. It's a very exciting time. Reach up and wide, up and wide. Woohoo! Woohoo! Really good job. Three, two, one, and rest there. Well done, really good. Have 30 seconds rest. And because we love it so much, we're gonna throw it again. Because why not, hey? Very exciting. Love confetti, love this moment in a wedding day. So we're gonna go again in 10 seconds. See if you can make those arms even wider this time. Reach up and out. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and off you go. Up and out, up and out. Nice. Really good. Throw that confetti, throw that confetti. Reach up and out, up and out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, they get married, they're very happy. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done, really good job. That is your third exercise complete now. So that's three done. We've got three more to go, we're exactly halfway through. So just grab another drink for me. 
and we're going to get into the evening stuff now. So obviously there's a lots of procedures that happen during the evening a part of the uh, day. Um, all very exciting stuff and it gets to the point where we can just dance and have so much fun. But before we do that, it's important that we have the first dance. Now it's really important that the bride and groom get to have this first dance as a marriage couple. Um, so we're going to do that now and we're going to use it as our Russian twist. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your arms up. So one arm up as if you're holding your partner's hand. One arm as if you're holding behind your partner's body. And we're just going to twist around as if we're dancing with them in a ballroom dancing fashion. So you're going to use that core as best as you can and pretend you're dancing with your partner for your first dance. And work as hard as you can. We're going to go in three, two, one, and off you go. Really good. I'm gonna let you try and guess what our first dance song might be. I don't think anyone will guess it. But we have chosen it and we haven't told it anyone. So if you can guess it, then you'll get top marks. Really good, you've got 10 seconds left. Keep those twistings going. Oh, this is quite hard actually. Three, two, one, and rest there, well done. I don't normally do it with my arms right up in the air there. I normally do it with my hands out here. That was quite challenging. Do you know what? I'm going to take this off. Let's do my head in. I'll pop that down there for a minute. We'll, we'll come back to that in a minute. So we're going to do the second first dance. I know, very confusing. And we're going to do it for the second time. And you can have really good ballroom posture and pretend you're gliding around the dance floor with your partner. So three, two, one, and off you go. You can look into each other's eyes longingly, lovingly, and enjoy the moment. The right, the left, the left. Really good, guys. Well done. Ten seconds left. Nice. Three, two, one. And rest your arms there. Well done. I actually felt that really working my core. Maybe I should do that on the day and it can be a little bit of a workout for me. Simon can drag me around as I hold my arms up. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Perfect. So we've got two more exercises left. And we need a little bit of a prop for the next one. Well, I'm going to use a prop. You don't have to at all. Don't you worry. So, of course, every bride has a bouquet when they go to their wedding, usually. Um, because flowers are lovely and they make it all a lot prettier. But then obviously the tradition is when the bride is married, they throw the bouquet to see if one of their friends or family could catch it to see who might be the lucky one to maybe get engaged or married next. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your bouquet with both hands or you can pretend and all you're going to do is chuck it behind you. Chuck it behind you. Chuck it behind you. So we're just going to do that continuously for the 30 seconds. And you can get super excited and see who out of all your friends catches it and who might be next. Because you never know. Are you ready? We're going to go in three, two, one. And chuck it behind you. Nice. Bring those arms up and back. Up and back. Nice. Woo! Woo! One, two, three, way! Really good guys, keep it going. It's hard work this one. Three, two, one, and rest of there. Well done, really good job. Nice. Do you know what? I'm gonna make it fair now. I'm gonna change direction and go to the crowd over this side now. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing, chucking that bouquet. See how far you can get your arms up and back. So we're going to go in 10 seconds. Are you having fun? Are you enjoying it? We're going to go in three, two, one, and off you go. Chuck that bouquet back. Chuck that bouquet back. Nice. 
and get ready to catch. Catch. Woo! Woo! Nice and high. Woo! 10 seconds left. Woo! Really good. Keep it up. Three, two, one. And rest there. Well done. I'm so impressed this bouquet managed to stay intact. It's on its last legs a little bit, but I love it. Lovely colour as well. You can pop your bouquet down if you do have one. Or if you don't, just give those arms a quick rest. Grab a quick drink. And then we're going to go on to the sixth and final exercise now. And this is the fun one. So this is where we have to have lots of fun. Obviously all the legal stuff is finished now, all the proceedings are done. It's time that we let our hair down and we have a great time now. It's time to party and it's time to disco dance. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to let you do freestyle dancing. There is a lot of rules on the dance floor. Lunges are encouraged. Dad dancing is also encouraged. There must always be a dance off going on and jazz squares are hugely encouraged as well. So you can dance however you like. You can do night fever. You can just go crazy. Work those arms as hard as you can. So I'm gonna let you freestyle. Pretend you're dancing to something. You might wanna do the YMCA or you might wanna do the Macarena. Lots of options for you there. So if you're ready, we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off you go. Woo! Big fish, little fish, cardboard pop. Keep those arms going, pretend you're dancing, having a good time. Oh yeah. I know I will be dancing a lot on my dance floor. Got 10 seconds left, keep it up. Really good. Three, two, one, and take a rest there. Well done, really good job. I always think it's worth putting your, your um, fitness watch on, on a dance floor just to see how many calories you actually burn off dancing because I think you'd be surprised. I think it'd be a lot. I've never done it myself, but I might do it one day. Not my wedding, but I might do it another day just to see how many calories I burn off on the dance floor. All right, this is going to be our last exercise now, so we're going to go as fast as we can. Really throw those shapes. Three, two, one, and off we go. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, keep dancing. Dance. I can't do that. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now fever, now fever. 10 seconds left, final 10 seconds now. Keep those arms dancing. Three, two, one, and rest there well done really really good job give those arms a break have a nice rest grab a quick drink and then we'll just finish off with some stretches for five minutes at the end just to make sure we're nice and stretched out it's a really 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 good job guys i know this is completely bonkers and you probably think i'm completely crazy but hopefully it's a lot of fun for you too and you're enjoying it because that's the main thing Weddings are a happy time. There are time for celebrations. I know I'm going to be super happy on my wedding day. So um, I just wanted to share that with you and share a little snippet into what our day might be like. So hopefully you have enjoyed it. Uh, we're just going to finish now with our, our cool down. I'm afraid this isn't themed because there's not really many stretches you can do relating to a wedding. So I'm just going to do our normal stretches and then um, we'll finish there. So we'll start off with our arm rolls. We'll do 10 backwards on each arm. So one, two, three, nice, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. Well done, really good. And switch over, 10 on the other arm. One, good job. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, and one more on this arm. Ten. Well done, really good. Shake those arms out, make sure they're nice and loose. Then you're gonna have your arms straight, cross it across your body, and just hold it there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And relax those arms there, well done. And you're going to switch over and do the same on the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, really good. And relax that arm again in there, nice. I'm going to try and do this one as best as I can, it might be a bit tricky. But you're going to reach up, drop the arm down behind your back, and if you can, put it across with the other hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out around. Well done. Same with the other arm, stretch up, drop it down, and pull it across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, well done, really good job. And stretch out and round, nice work. You have worked your core nice and hard because we have been dancing, so you're gonna do our twists now. So you're gonna hold the opposite side back, press and hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. And switch around in the opposite direction. Hold it there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, really good job. And come back to the middle, nice. And we're just gonna finish off with our neck stretches now. So you're gonna sit nice and tall, tilt your head to the side, and if you gently want to hold it, you can. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch it over to the other side. Hold that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, really good job. And you're gonna shake it all out, make sure you're nice and loose. And introducing the new Mrs. Archer. Woo! Well, Archer to be, I will be at some point. So, thank you so much, guys, for taking part in this madness of a workout with me. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I want to give a special thanks to Graham Brown because he actually gave me some of the ideas to do this workout. I had already planned to do one, but he actually emailed me with lots of ideas. So, that's really exciting. So, thanks, Graham. Amazing work. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's worked you hard. And I hope you, it's got you in a nice wedding happy spirit because weddings are a great time. They're a lovely time where all your family gets together and all your friends and it's just nice to celebrate with everyone together. So thank you so much guys. Um, I will be releasing videos still even when I'm on a honeymoon. So keep an eye on my channel for videos and don't worry, there's no rest for the wicked. Um, but then I'll be back with my live, I'm taking a break from my live sessions for about three weeks and then I'll be back after for all my live sessions to continue. So thank you so much guys, you've worked so hard and I will see you when I'm Mrs. Archer. See you soon.